Operations Officer at Air Traffic Services Brian Wilson says that the planners in tourism are going to have to take a hard look at what he called capacity very soon. He explained that this has to do with how many aircraft we are able to manage in the space that we have with the resources that we possess. Some days we're stretched to limits and, and you know, like bursting at the seams as far as aircraft movements are concerned. Um, sometimes the numbers won't reflect it. Uh, you may see <coughs> 60, 70 movements an hour. It may not seem like a lot, but the problem is is that we would have dealt with that 60, 70 movements in about a 20 or 30 minute period, right? So the question is, you know, how much more can the system really accommodate? Wilson says that air traffic services plays a very important role in securing the majority of tourism-related income that is brought into the Bahamas through the aviation product. In, in that regard, we, we understand our role but again, you know, you know, as you said earlier, we had overlooked component. Um, you know, our job is to provide a service. Uh, you know, I personally, I, I don't feel that you know we are doing it as well as we ought to. But I think um, once we get, once we get our gears together, um, you know, this is an indispensable portion of that because you know once once you start in with air traffic services, there's no going back. Okay, and I think uh, we have it in Nassau now. We have it in Grand Bahama. Abaco will soon have it, and after that it's going to be, you know, it's going to start spreading throughout the country. Wilson is also of the belief that it would certainly help to boost employee morale if air traffic controllers were recognized publicly in some small way. It's a thankless job that is filled with stress, all in the name of tourism. We have had situations uh, in the past where, you know, you've had one team of controllers working very near to 100 movements in an hour. It's certainly something to be considered. I don't think, I don't think the general public understands exactly what that would entail. Um, I think it was uh, 2002 or three when we took this main runway, we took that out of service to resurface it, and so we only had the shorter runway. Uh, traffic movements were crazy. I mean, we had traffic lined up from here to Governor's Abbey Lutheran. You know, people spend more time trying to land here than it took to get from their point of departure. To, to Nassau, you know, and it's a hectic situation, and our staff numbers have not increased. In fact, they've decreased over the years because people have left. So um, those that do, they deserve the recognition, yeah, no question about that. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.